Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to update your Nintendo Switch custom firmware for your modern Nintendo Switch to the latest version. Currently it's 18.0.0 as of recording, but this method works for future versions as well. It's the same process. You'll need a modern Nintendo Switch like I have right here. So if I go to system settings, and then if I scroll all the way to system, you can see current system version 17.0.0 that's the nintendo firmware switch firmware and then it says ams that means i've got atmosphere installed the custom firmware to my modded switch and the version of atmosphere is 1.6.2 and at the end it says e for emunan it means i've installed this um, custom firmware onto a like a virtual machine emunan so I've got System NAND and Emu NAND. System NAND is the official firmware. I use that to go to the Nintendo Switch servers to play online. I go to the Nintendo store, stuff like that. Okay, and then I keep my Emu NAND. I don't go online with that because I don't want to get banned. You, you risk getting banned. So uh, I use my Emu NAND for custom firmware. I you know do my modding, my game modding, play game backups, um, save editors, stuff like that on the custom firmware on Emu NAND, separate from my System NAND. So, if you don't understand all that, if you don't know what I'm saying, this is a disclaimer. Uh, I don't think you should attempt to do this, this tutorial, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, you need to understand your modded switch, custom firmware, Emu NAND, the tools involved, stuff like that. If you don't, I actually have a video showing you how to soft mod your Nintendo Switch. You might want to watch this. I'll link it in the description. This video has over 100,000 views on my small channel, which only has 12,000 subscribers. So yeah, this video is pretty popular. It's um, it's in depth. So I think you should like familiarize with the stuff first. If you didn't like install custom firmware to your Switch yourself, uh, you really should uh, understand it. So if you just bought the Switch and it was modded, it, was, uh, it has custom firmware installed uh, and you don't know any of it, don't attempt to install or update the custom firmware, okay? That's a warning. So with that out of the way, let's just get started. So the first thing you need is to download Atmosphere. That's the custom firmware. Make sure it supports the firmware you're trying to update to. So I'm trying to update to 18.0.0 and it says here Atmosphere 1.7.0 supports it. So that's why I'm going to download these two files, the atmosphere.zip and the fusey.bin. Fusey.bin is the um, payload that like boots into atmosphere so you need both of these files i've got it right here atmosphere and fusey.bin okay and you also need hikate hikate is the bootloader so make sure both of these hikate and atmosphere they support the firmware that you're trying to update to so it does say here latest hos supported is 18.0.0 hos stands for horizon operating system that's the official firmware for nintendo the operating system so make sure these are both supported if it does download it okay so i've got them both here and then i'm just going to extract the zip files so extract here and then for atmosphere and then extract hikate okay and just delete the zips just to keep it clean and also you'll need this sig patches so sig patches i'm not going to link don't ask for it in the comments i'm just going to delete your comments uh, sig patches i think it's been like st struck down like nintendo's dmca sig patches i think it's not like you're not supposed to distribute it um so um just search for it and it needs to support the version you're trying to update to so these sig patches that i've got supports 18.0.0 if you don't have this don't attempt to update okay so i'm just going to extract it as well so once again don't ask me for it no links no nothing i'm not going to share it all right just search for it so if I can find it, I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, just I'm just going to delete the zip. And also you need the firmware. So the firmware, you're supposed to download it. No, sorry. No, you're not supposed to download it. You're supposed to, you're supposed to dump it yourself. So don't download it, okay? So here, how to dump Switch firmware. I've got a video showing you how to dump it from your modded Switch. So just dump it yourself. If you download it, it's illegal. You're not supposed to share your firmware, all right? Um, you're only supposed to um, dump it and use it for yourself, okay? So, yeah, remember that. And then, yeah, all the files are ready. So once you've got all your files, we're going to transfer these files to the SD card of your Switch. So I'm just going to turn off my Switch right now. 
Okay, power options and power off. Then I'm going to get the SD card out. I'm going to plug it into my computer. Okay, so this is the SD card of my computer into my computer, the switch one. All right, so first, atmosphere. I'm just going to drag all this to the root and then replace. Okay, that's done. And then I'm also going to drag the Hikate to the root, replace. Okay, you're supposed to do this as well, the sync patches. But uh, I want to show you without, like, if you don't have the sync patches, I want to see what happens. So I'll do that later. Okay, and then also firmware. Okay, so firmware, I've got a folder inside my root called firmware. I'm just going to drag all these over. Okay, so just wait for that. Let's wait for it. And then I have to boot back into my switch. Okay, so that's done. Now I can eject my SD card. And then I'm going to put it back into my switch. And I have to boot back into Hikate. Okay, so let me put back my SD card first. And then uh, I'm going to use Tegra RCM. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my switch, so it should recognize it in RCM mode. Yes, and then I'm going to select the payload. So just go to uh, your Hikate folder that you extracted from the zip and you should see this Hikate and then the bin file. So select the payload, inject. Okay. And here my switch is booted into Hikate. Go to launch and then custom firmware, Emunan. And just wait for Atmosphere to boot up. So Atmosphere should be updated from 1.6.2 to 1.7.0. But I've not updated my um, Switch firmware yet. Okay, so just wait. Okay, let me just make it bigger. Okay, it is more better for viewing. Okay, so now... Uh, we go to settings, system settings, and then go all the way to system. You can see we're on 17.0.0. The firmware, we haven't updated that yet, but AMS, you can see it's 1.7.0. So we've updated AMS. Okay, that's the first step. Now let's go back and we're going to update the firmware now. So go back to the album. And we have a app called Daybreak. So go into Daybreak, install, and then we're gonna select the update directory. So select the firmware directory. Okay, update information. Now it's validating. Make sure that the files are working. You know, nothing's wrong. Then continue. I'm going to preserve settings. And then install FAT32 plus XFAT. Continue. And just wait for it to install. It's going to take a bit, so be patient here. All right, it's working. Make sure you don't turn off your switch or anything like that at this point.
Okay, we're almost done. Okay, applying update. Come on. I kind of panic when nothing happens on screen, right? I always panic. Don't panic. Just wait for it. All right, now it's done. Okay, reboot. So click reboot. And it should boot back into atmosphere. Looking good. Yeah, I think everything's working fine. But I remember I haven't updated the SIG patches. So that's a problem. But let's just make sure we've got the updated atmosphere and updated firmware on our custom firmware, MUNAN first, before we worry about anything else. Okay, it's booting a long time. Maybe it's because it's the first time. Okay, I think we're there. Okay. What? Okay. So first time, I think it takes a bit of time. Go to system settings. System. Okay, now you can see current system version 18.0.0 AMS 1.0.0. Uh, 1.7.0 Emunan. Okay, and let's try to boot a game. So let's say Super Mario Odyssey. Okay, just start software. Okay, you can't start the software, right? It's because I don't have the updated SIG patches. Okay, so you could like unplug the SD card if you want, but for me, I'm just going to use FTP. So go to album. Album FTP. Let's go to FTP it over. So this has my IP address. So back to my computer. I'm just going to open up FileZilla. FileZilla, and then um, yeah, I've already connected it before. So yeah, this is my my SD card for the switch, and then I'm just going to locate my SIG patches. Just copy it, drag it over, drag it over. Overwrite, okay. So I'm just going to transfer over my SIG patches and that should just work. Now it's done. Let's go back to my Switch. Okay, let's start Mario Odyssey again. See if it works. Nope. Maybe I need to reboot. So let's reboot. My options. Restart. Okay, so I'm going to reboot. I think you need to reboot it after you've installed the SIG patches. That makes sense. So let's just wait for it to reboot. I think it's going to be faster this time. The first time, like, after I updated, this screen was for a long time. Maybe it'll be faster this time. Yep, it's faster, a lot faster. Oops, move my camera. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's try to run Mario Odyssey again after reboot. Now I've installed the SIG patches. Now you can see the game runs. So yeah, that's very important. The SIG patches, if you don't have the correct SIG patches, your game won't run. So yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Don't ask for any like download links or anything like that. I'm not going to share any of those. Um, I'm just going to delete your messages. So yeah, if you like this video, please hit a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.